Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Amazon Fire HD10 tablet with Alexa built in, starting with an unboxing of the device and then the setup process. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as an Amazon Fire HD10 tablet expert. Let's get started. So on the front of the device we have a picture of the Amazon Fire tablet. And then the Fire HD 10 up here with Alexa. We've got 64 gigabytes of storage with a 1080p screen, great for watching movies. And then on the back, it's got additional images of the Amazon Fire tablet and some ways that you can use it. But then right up here, you've got the pill tab where you can go ahead and open up the device. So let's go ahead and peel that back and see what's inside. So it just rips off just like that. And we can open it up. So I'll go ahead and sit this down on the table and we'll pull out the tablet itself. This slides out just like that. So here we've got the Amazon Fire tablet, the HD10 tablet, and then it's got some components here in the inside that we can go ahead and pull out. So we've got a charging brick, Amazon. We can just lift the tablet off just like that and then we can pull out everything else that's in the box here. So we've got a charging cable right here. And then hello, Fire HD 10, a little quick start guide of what's in the box, an overview of the device itself and getting started and charging the tablet. We'll show you all those details in a moment. And then of course you can make the most of your tablet. To get started with your new tablet, connect to Wi-Fi, then enter your Amazon username and password and then you can get around and access all of the entertainment content and additional apps on the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. So let's go ahead and unbox all of this we can pull off the wrapping of the charger just like that. And then we can pull off the wrapping of the USB cable it comes off just like that. And what you do, you take your USB A, which looks like this connection and you plug it into the charging brick, you plug the charging brick into the wall, and you plug the USB-C in, which looks like this, into the tablet, and that charges your tablet. So we'll go ahead and put this at the top here. Let's take off the plastic wrap of the Amazon Fire tablet, the HD10. It's got a little pull tab at the top here. Let's pull it off just like that, and it slides right out. And wow, this thing is gorgeous. It has a nice webcam right here at the top and we can look on the sides here and find our speakers at the very bottom speakers are right here we've got the charging connector right here the headphone jack the power button and the volume buttons so all on the side there as you're viewing your content Let's go ahead and get this Amazon Fire HD10 tablet set up. I've gone ahead and plugged the charger into the wall, and now I've got the other end, the USB-C connector. I'm gonna plug that right into the tablet, which is on its right side right here. So you just plug in the connector to charge it up and get it set up properly. So we'll go ahead and do that and get it some power and start charging this battery. So now that we've plugged in our HD10 tablet here, the logo pops up, Amazon. So it's getting started there. Let's go ahead and get this Amazon Fire tablet set up. We've charged it for a little bit and the first thing it's asking us to do is select our language. So it's got a list of languages that you can select. And then one really neat feature is at the very bottom you can adjust the text size just by tapping on it. If you want smaller tap text size, you tap on the smallest one. If you want larger text size, you can tap on the really big one. They've got four options here. You can increase it to very big or you can keep it at the standard text size. So we'll keep it at the standard text size, and then we'll go ahead and select our language at the very top here for English, and then you'll hit the arrow button in the bottom right. So we go ahead and tap on that, and it makes a little chime here. So now it wants us to connect to Wi-Fi. So you'll go ahead and select your wireless network and enter your Wi-Fi password. You'll need an internet connection in order to set up this tablet. Um, so. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna enter my information off camera and we'll be right back. 
All right, so we've successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network and it's asking us for next steps. It wants us to register your Fire tablet here. So we can do that by entering in our Amazon username and password. So let's go ahead and do this off camera and we'll be right back. If you don't have an Amazon account, you can hit this blue start here button and create an Amazon account. But for those that already have one, you just enter in your email here and your password there. All right, so I've typed in my username and password for the Amazon Fire account and we'll go ahead and hit continue and it's going to register your fire in just a second it'll log in and now we've got a little video here where it says meet your fire tablet you can discover alexa hands-free and more so we can watch this and see what From it's all watching about movies and reading books to asking alexa for the weather there are lots of ways to enjoy your new fire tablet try asking alexa to play music or movies make calls check the news or your commute, and more. Just say Alexa to get your tablet's attention. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Olympia, you'll see lots of clouds with a high 49 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. And find what you want to watch. Alexa, show me action movies. Here's what I found. Ask Alexa to start a timer or find a recipe. Alexa, show me a recipe for banana muffins. Okay, for banana muffins, here's a few recipes. If you want to see more, say next. Make hands-free video calls to friends and family. Alexa, call mom. Calling mom. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, you get unlimited access to thousands of movies and TV shows over 2 million songs, and even select books, comics, and magazines that you can borrow at no additional cost. And with For You, a page of curated content personalized to your tastes, it's easy to discover new things. Enjoy your new Fire tablet. And there we have it, an introduction to the Amazon Fire tablet here. So now we've got some options. We can enable location services. Location services allow maps, weathers, and other apps to use location. So that's checked off. It'll help out when you open up an app like Maps or Weather and any other app that uses your location to load content that's you know relevant to where you are. You can auto save photos and videos. So you can upload photos and videos to this Amazon Cloud Drive and that'll help out with saving content over time. And then you can save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. So Wi-Fi passwords, um, that way you don't have to re-enter them every time you log into your Amazon devices. So we'll go ahead. These three are already automatically checked for us. If you want to disable them, you can just tap them and it will uncheck them just like that. Um, so no matter which one you want, you just select which ones you don't want and it will uncheck them like that. We'll go ahead and save our Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon and let's uncheck the save photos and videos to the Amazon Cloud Drive. We'll keep those local on the device and then we'll keep the location services enabled. And then at the very bottom here, we've got the continue button, which allows us to move on to the next steps. And then it says, who will use this fire? So your fire allows you to create personalized experiences for each of your family, including custom home screens, preferences, apps, and more. And it's cool. It's already populated people based off of my Amazon account. Um, and allows me to select the people that are in my Amazon account if I want profiles for them, and then also for different kids. So we've got two kid profiles right here. And it's very neat that um, I can come in here, I can check off, we'll say the kids won't be using the tablet. I just uncheck their names, and then I can keep um, you know, the two people that will be using the tablet right here. And then if I want to, I can come in here and add a child. Um, it loads up. You can type in the kid's name. At the top here, you can type in the kid's name. You can type in their birthday. You can change it to a kid-friendly profile photo. They offer a free trial for Amazon Kids Plus. And then um, you can create a profile without Amazon Kids Plus with this fine text at the very bottom right here. Because it is $4.99 a month, you get a free month, but without it, um, you can just select the little tiny text there and it will load up and create that kid without the um, additional Amazon Kids Plus. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that, um, but that's the way that you can add an additional child just like that, that, just like pressing that button and getting the additional settings here. You press the back button, and now we'll go ahead and hit the continue button and move on to setting a screen 
lock. Set a lock screen pin or password to protect your fire. So we can go with the pin and um, it says enter at least four characters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and we'll enter four characters and then I'll hit continue. And now I'm presented with Kindle Unlimited. Enjoy unlimited access to over 4 million ebooks, thousands of audiobooks, and a selection of popular mag magazines. I can start a free month trial. It has three months free. And then it renews at $11.99 afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and hit no thanks on this. And then it asks us, do we want an audible trial where you can listen to audiobooks, podcasts, and more? And it even pre-populates here, the credit card method and billing address. I'm going to go ahead and select no thanks for this. And we'll see what's next on the next setup page. So I'll hit no thanks in just a second. And now I can enjoy books and videos already included in your Prime membership. Since I do have Amazon Prime, you know, I can get access to content, books, popular books, popular shows um, right here already on the tablet just with my Prime membership. So we'll dive into that. You can see here I've got free popular books, recommended TV to add to your watch list, and then recommended movies to add to the watch list. So I can come here, I can select, maybe I want to check out Air. I'll add that to my watch list. And then let's see, I love Jack Ryan. So I'll add that to my watch list too. Then I can come up here and select a book. Um, we'll say Never Lie. And then hit continue at the very bottom. And those will be added to my Fire tablet just like that. So now I can download free apps and games. We've got popular ones here at the top and then popular games. So it would be cool. Let's go ahead and download, you know, Netflix. Disney Plus, TikTok, YouTube. Let's see, what are some other cool games? Some games we can download, maybe Safeway Surfers, Roblox, Talking Tom 2, um, Crossy Roads. So it offers some additional games that we can get started with to download onto our tablet here. Um, so we've got popular games at the very bottom and popular apps at the very top. And then we'll hit continue to go ahead and um, review these app permissions and details. So it shows which apps have in-app purchases and if they're using your Wi-Fi network, what kind of permissions they're gonna be using. So you can see in more detail um, when you download this app, what exactly it'll have access to on your tablet. So we'll go ahead and scroll through that and then we'll hit download and it will start processing all of those app downloads and game downloads. Hello. Alexa is on your tablet. You can use your voice to open apps. So Last now, questions. all right, Alexa, Please so now, oh, it keeps talking. <laughs> so Alexa all you have to do is ask. keeps interrupting me, which is okay. <laughs> uh, Alexa is hands-free. So you can use your voice to open apps, ask questions, play music and videos, even when the screen is off. So you can ask Alexa to play music. You can, you can ask, you know, information about Starbucks or a show or, um, you know, what, what, you want to watch. Um, so we'll try that out in this video because it's really neat that it's built in to this assistant. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And now it says get started with Alexa hands free. And then we can have the option here to disable Alexa. We have the option here to disable Alexa or enable Alexa. We'll go ahead and enable right, it. Now. Ask Alexa, what's the weather? Alexa, what's the weather? Current weather is 62 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Tonight's forecast has clouds with a low of 56 degrees. And then it says you can also press and hold the home button to ask. So let's go ahead and what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow, you'll see lots of clouds and can expect a high of 66 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 55 degrees. So the very bottom in the middle, this circle dot is the home button. And then here we've got an additional button which can take us to our recent apps. This back button takes us to our latest app that we were previously on. And then we've got some controls here in the lower left. So this takes us to our settings and device dashboard. Um, but we'll hit the back button. We'll go back to Alexa as it's demoing everything for us. We'll hit continue. And this guide just shows us how we can use Alexa. It's hands-free. Even if your tablet is passcode blocked, you can change that in settings. The wake word is set to Alexa. You can change that in settings and then turn hands-free off in quick actions or settings. You can still press and hold the Alexa home button to speak. So multiple ways to activate Alexa. We'll go ahead and hit the finish button. 
And now we're presented on our home screen. Now that you've got your Fire tablet set up properly, you're introduced with the home screen, which has a ton of different apps on it that you can check out. There are three sections of the home screen here. You've got the home tab, you can swipe over to the right and get the library, and then you can swipe over to the left and get the For You page. Check out Surfshark, your safer digital everyday privacy. You can get a virtual private network of VPN from Surfshark and secure your connection. We have an incredible offer for you using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Surfshark. You can get a subscription for 24 months at just $2.49. You can check it out and get a VPN on all of your devices. They have a, you know, an app that you can download for your iPhone, your Mac, your Android, and it makes it really secure. They even support Windows, Linux, Fire TV, and Edge. So check it out today, Surfshark. You can use the link in the description, appfind.org slash Surfshark to get set up with your safer digital privacy today. On the home page, you have all of your favorite apps. On the For You page, you have all of the recommended apps that you can check out. And then library, you have content uh, from your apps, that are your Kindle and the games and things that you can get started on um, and watch immediately or read immediately. So let's take a look at the home page here. We've got the continue. I can continue reading my latest book here. I can discover some new content and I've got various different apps. I can tap the first app and open it up and it opens up Amazon and allows me to start shopping. To get home, you've got your navigation at the very bottom here. You press the center button right here and it takes you right back home. You can also press the back button and it will take you back to where you were previously at. And this works within an app too. So if I'm in Amazon and I tap on something like this uh, fire stick here, if I tap on the fire stick and I want to go back to the previous page, all I have to do is just press the back button and it takes us back to the previous page. Press the back button and it takes us back to the previous page just like that. So I can go home here with the middle button. This middle button right here takes us home. And now I'm presented back at the home screen. On the home screen here, we're presented with a lot of Amazon apps and some of the applications that we installed during the setup process. If you want to modify where these apps are located, all you have to do is just press and hold and then edit home screen. And this puts it in a little jiggle mode where you can drag your app to where you want it. So if we wanted to bring Disney Plus up to the very top, we just drag it up. And then once we've finished all of our modifications, say we wanna also drag Crossy Road and drag that up to the very top too, so it's close by, we just do that. And then we hit the done option in the very top right. And now we've modified our home screen and we can have all of our favorite apps in the correct place. So let's take a look at you know a new app. If we open up Crossy Roads, Game mode, when, game, when a game is open, device memory and performance are optimized, notifications are hidden, and Alexa is disabled. So game mode disables Alexa, and it makes sure the memory and performance is set up properly. So we can go ahead and hit OK. Now, for this game, Crossy Roads is asking us to enter our age, so we'll go ahead and do that off camera. All right, so now we've set up Crossy Roads, and it should be very fun to play. Um, so game mode, when you enter game mode and when you enter a game, it enters full screen. And in order to exit full screen, all you do is just swipe down from the top and your controls pop back open at the very bottom. Um, so we can swipe down and then hit the home button and then go back home. We hit the back button to go back to where we previously were. Cross, cross your roads, we can open it up really quick. Um, and you know, this is a quick game, it wants us to tap. So. Tapping moves us forward, and collects coins, and then to swipe down, our controls pop back open and we can go back to where we previously were. Puts us in pause mode, we swipe down, we get our notification bar here, um, or our toolbar here to go home. So that's an example of playing a game on the Amazon Alexa Fire Tablet. So we've taken a look at gaming on the Fire Tablet and rearranging our apps. Let's take a look at some of the other apps provided by Amazon on this tablet. So we've also taken a look at the Shop Amazon app right here. Next up, we've got the Silk Browser. This allows us to surf the internet on our Fire Tablet. So when you open it up, it loads up a home screen here where you can activate your bookmarks, your history, your shopping, news. A few uh, bookmark pages are here from Amazon, Wikipedia, YouTube, and Facebook. 
And then it says this menu is being removed. Tap the, or select this icon for more information. You can learn more. The menu items can now be found under the three dots. So here are additional menu options. We can rate the browser. We can get settings, help support, send feedback, news, shopping, use a dark theme. That sounds cool. I love dark mode for everything. So I can enable dark mode just like that. I can go back up to our settings. We can always request the desktop site. We can print. We can use the light theme, a new private tab, our downloads, folder, history, your lists, reading, and bookmarks. So a little new section popped up right here with what's popular. Um, so we can see some popular content across the internet over the past few days. And um, looks like that's pretty instant. Six hours ago, four hours ago, seven hours ago. Um, so we can read the latest news and the latest trending content. We can always just tap on an icon and go immediately to that page. So here we are on Wikipedia and I can browse Wikipedia just like this. So it makes it really fun to come in here and browse the internet. And um, if you want, you can type in an address. So a keyboard pops up. We can type in appfindvip.com. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter, you can check the link in the description and sign up for it, appfindvip.com. You'll get the latest games and apps delivered to your inbox. Um, so you can come in here with the Silk browser and browse the internet. You can add an additional tab. You can just press the little tab button here and then I can check out a new web page. We can go to YouTube. Um, so now we've got YouTube in one tab and then App Find VIP in the other tab. And we just tap between the two to get to whichever page we want. Um, so it makes it really fun to come in here and check out the internet. Um, so we've got our toolbar up here where we can refresh the page just like this. We can always tap and enter a new website. We've got some suggested searches right here. The new Marvel Spider-Man as a suggested search. We can check that out. Really great movie, highly recommend. Um, so they've got some some content here that I can, can, that I can read um, about Spider-Man. And then I can come here, I can bookmark this page. I can add it or pin it to my favorites. They've got voice dictation, so we can come up here and dictate where we want to go. Self content service needs access to your device's microphone. So in order to use voice dictation, you will need to allow self content service to record audio. So we'll go ahead and allow, and now we can use voice dictation. Google.com. And just like that, it searches using their default search engine, which is Bing, um, but it does pop up Google. So we can type in Google and go to google.com. So voice works for searching uh, content. We can say what movies are coming out in 2014. And it's interesting, it kind of knew what I was talking about there, even though I said 2014, it knew that I was talking about 2024, which is the next year. Um, so I can go ahead and leave feedback. So what do you, you says, what would you like to leave feedback about this feature? We can go ahead and say, no, thanks. Um, so it uses the Microsoft Bing search engine to analyze this content. So 2024 movies have popped up and I can look at upcoming releases, new movies in the theaters for June, 2023. Um, and then also 2024 movies from Movies Insider. So really cool that I can come in here and use voice to search on the web. Um, and, you know, it just uses Microsoft Bing to pull up the search results and allow you to continue searching. So really cool feature. We can press this home button at the top here to go back to our home page and where we see our bookmarks and our favorites and what's popular. And of course, we checked out the three dots here. So. That's an overview of the Amazon Silk browser. We can come in here and surf the web on our Fire tablet and make it really easy to check out content. Um, and then we've got our buttons right here at the very bottom. This middle one takes us home. This one shows all the apps that are running on the system. We'll stay inside of Microsoft or we'll stay inside of the Silk browser. And then if we want, we can use this back button at the very bottom. Um, to go back to our previous page that we're on. So we press it and it just goes back to our previous page just like that. So really cool. Um, you can also check out the sidebar here. Some more content like this allows Silk to recommend content just by swiping over from the side here and it pops up and then I can hit allow and enable. So 
Um, that's a really cool feature that you can turn on and then as you use it more, it'll pop up more content just like this. So, um, really cool web browser here in the Amazon Brown and the Amazon Fire tablet. We can always turn it sideways too and check out content in um, you know, landscape mode. And we get the same features that we saw earlier, but just, you know, in a more bigger screen because it's, you know, using the landscape rather than the portrait mode. So we can browse the internet and add a third tab here, um, just like this, and go back to our app find VIP. And now we've got three tabs going on. We've got app find VIP, we can scroll down on that. We've got YouTube, and then we've got what movies are coming out. So really cool um, way to surf the internet right here on your Amazon Fire tablet. Let's check out what else we have on the tablet itself. Next up is the Amazon App Store where we can come in here and open up and check out various different apps. So they've got a feature called One Tap App Download, which gets into apps and content faster with one click to download and launch apps from the App Store. So we can enable that for future apps. Clicking on an app not installed on your device will automatically start downloading the app. And then one tap download will not work with apps that require payment to download. Downloads may include apps with guidance, suggested content and app purchasing and may request access to your device's location, camera and microphone. Parental controls you set will still apply. You can uninstall apps at any time. You can always learn more about any app, including its privacy policy by navigating to the app's detail page in the app store. And you can change the one tap app download setting anytime by navigating to the app store settings menu. So we can go ahead and enable this for future apps. So that way if we tap on our app and it will automatically start downloading it. Um, so we tapped on Peacock earlier and now it's automatically downloading Peacock on our machine. And this is really cool because it allows us to add new apps to the home screen. So we can see that it's installing, but if we go and press the home button right here in the middle, we can scroll down and um, see what other apps that are, we've previously installed during the setup process. And then once the Peacock app is installed, we'll also see that on our home screen. So we can come in here and check out the Amazon App Store and see that it's still installing. That way um, we'll know when to open it up. If we go back to the main home screen of the App Store, we can see um, what apps are top grossing, top TV movies and TV apps for you app and game bundles, featured apps and games, top free downloads, editor picks for you, recommended for you and games, top paid, recommended for you and movies and TV, and then all apps and games. Let's take a look at this Peacock app again. We can see that we can finally open it up, but I just want to make sure that it's on our home screen now. So now when we scroll to the bottom, the Peacock app is right here on our home screen. And you remember, if we want to move it around, all we have to do is click and hold and we can start dragging and then moving it and putting it wherever we want. So we can put it right next to our Crossy Roads up there. Now there are two ways to open it. You can tap it right here, or if you're still on the App Store page, if we hit the back button or if we hit the app drawer and go back to the Amazon Apps Store, we can see here that there's an open button right here. And all we have to do is just press it and it instantly opens up the app. So just like that, we've set up Peacock on our Amazon Fire tablet and it's been really easy to download and set up that app. Um, so you can see here, all you have to do is just pick a plan or sign in and you can start watching Peacock content. Um, so we can also rotate this sideways because we know movies are great. TV shows are great to look at when you are in landscape mode. So you can have it in whichever way you want there. Um, let's take a look at the App Store and see what it's like to um, download any other app. So I'm going to show you how to get back to the App Store using the App Drawer. You can press this third button right here, the square. And right now you can see that we're in the Peacock app. But if we swipe over, we can see all the other apps that are open on the Fire tablet, just like this. So now we can swipe right back over to the App Store and then tap it and instantly have access to what we were last looking at. So that's a quick way to switch apps while you're using your Fire tablet. You just press this third icon right here, the little square, to bring up the App Store. And then you have all of your various different apps. We can go back to the Amazon Silk browser. We can go back to the Fire tablet. We can go back to Crossy Rose. Anything that we've previously opened, we can go back to. And if we're done with it, we can swipe up and 
remove it from our app drawer and close the app completely. And in order to reopen the app, you'll have to go back to your home screen and re-press the button here, Amazon App Store, to get it open again. So now we're back in the Amazon App Store and we can check out other apps and see what it's like uh, to get started with those. So if we come over here, we can see which apps are popular, which apps we want to check out. So we can come here, we can see that Paramount Plus is a top free download. Today's sponsor is L Gear's 3-in-1 wireless charger that lets you charge your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at once, just like that. Has a nice sleek design for your desk or your nightstand, and it charges all three of your devices, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at the same time. Click the link in the description to purchase your 3-in-1 L Gear charger, and you can get it set up charging your Apple Watch, your AirPods and your iPhone all at the same time, just like that. And it sits really nicely on your desk or your nightstand. You can get it in a black version or white version. And it's really cool. You just slide on your Apple Watch just like that. You put your, your AirPods at the very bottom and your phone wirelessly attaches just like that using MagSafe technology. And it looks super sleek and really nice on your nightstand. So check it out. Use the link in the description to get your three in one wireless charger today from L gear. So we can tap on Paramount plus. This allows us to watch content on Paramount plus. And since we enabled the tap to download feature, it automatically starts downloading this application. You can see the status bar right here, 75% downloaded right here. It's installing, it's preparing the download, and it's uh, installing it right to our tablet as we speak, just because we tapped on it and it started to install. Um, we can come back and see what other apps we can install while this is downloading. We can come over to Twitch, tap on Twitch, and it will automatically start downloading Twitch. Now you can always turn this feature off in settings if you don't want it to download things that you tap on, but this makes it really easy just to get set up. Any free application, you just tap on it and it automatically starts downloading to your tablet. And you can see the download process right here, 19% downloaded. We can go back to Paramount Plus and see if it's finished installing, it is. We get an open sign right here. Now I'm gonna go to the home screen and show you how to launch the app from the home screen. We just tap the home screen button in the middle there and we scroll all the way down to the very bottom and we've got Paramount Plus and we just tap on it and it opens up just like this. So here we are, we've got Paramount Plus installed on our Fire tablet just by tapping to download and there is so much to stream. So all you have to do is just sign up for Paramount Plus or sign in with your credentials and start watching content on the app. And we'll see if this has a landscape mode. It does not look like it has one on the home screen. Oh, there it goes. It successfully rotates and now we can watch content in uh, landscape mode too. So very cool that these streaming services support both portrait and landscape modes. Um, of course, you want to watch your high definition content and landscape and get the best of this Fire tablet screen and um, you just sign in and start watching immediately. So we can press this middle button, the home button to go back home, and then we can see what other apps are in the app store. So the app store is categorized by various different things. We can hit the back button at the top to go back to the home screen. And at the top, we get to see all of the different categories. So they also have a nice little slideshow here of all the various different apps that they're featuring that you can download. But at the top, you've got categories where you can see all the different top categories from movies and TV, games, social, books and comics, business, communication, customization, education, finance, food. There's over two dozen categories here that you can select for and then automatically go in and download apps for. So if you're really big into health and fitness, you can tap health and fitness and then see all of the health and fitness apps that are available for your Amazon Fire tablet. And you can come in here and download them. So if you want, you can download the Peloton app. You just tap on it. We've got tap to install. But actually, since this is a paid app, it does not automatically install it. So you start one month free and then you have to pay $12.99 after that free month trial. So we can take a look at some other free apps like, um, let's see, if we come down and scroll. Let's see if there is a free app that we can tap on. Daily Up Fitness sounds cool for Fire to Stick. So we tap on that and it automatically starts downloading 
just like this, preparing download. 0% is downloaded so far, 75% installed. Now it's installing and we just tap on it and it automatically downloads to our Fire tablet. And we can check out the details here and the developer info and the screenshots that they have. Uh, so it allows us to stay fit and they've got some you know, different courses that allows us to uh, exercise and very interesting here on our Fire tablet. So we can hit the back button at the very top and go back. So that's an example of how you can browse categories on your Amazon Fire tablet. Um, so we can exit out of these categories by going to the App Store. So that was a interesting method. Once we hit this hamburger menu at the top left, we're presented with the library, App Store, Amazon Coins, App Updates, Subscriptions, Settings, and Help which is very, very different. So when we click on a category and we go into it, if we click on communications here, um, in order to get back to the main app store, you have to use this hamburger menu and hit app store to go back to the main section. So in the hamburger menu here on the left, when you type in that, or when you press these three dots, that's the hamburger menu. And you, it looks like a hamburger. That's why we call it a hamburger menu. You know, you've got the bun at the top, some meat in the middle, and another bun at the bottom. So three lines. And you tap on it, and you are able to access all the different settings of the App Store. So really cool way to come in here and check out different apps by category. They also have different categories that are right here across the top. So you can go to videos. You know, if you want to watch content, you can watch Quantum Mania, Ant-Man, Wasp, right here on Disney+. Plus. You can go to Family, see all the different family applications that are designed for kids and family. Um, right here by scrolling down and checking out. You know, they've even got it categorized by ages, ages 3 to 6, ages 7 to 9, top grossing for kids, popular for kids, best sellers, um, top paid, top free to download, top grossing. So they make it really easy to come in here to the App Store and check out what content you want to download for your Fire tablet. And of course, you got Amazon Coins where you can pay more and spend less and save on apps and games. So very interesting way to um, you know, check out the different App Store requirements here to get games for free based off of how many coins you buy and how many coins you earn. So that's a new way to check out the app store and come in here and review all the different categories all the different options they have on the amazon fire tablet app store so we can go back to the home screen and see what else we have next up let's check out prime video now in order to access prime video you will need an amazon prime subscription but you just tap on it on the home screen and here you can watch all of the amazon prime content so they have some reviews here of the latest content that you can swipe through they've got creed 3 now streaming a really good movie and a few other uh you know pieces of content that you can check out you can continue watching shows that you've already started watching on amazon prime whether they've been on the big screen on your mobile phone or another device um, so really cool. I'm going to show you the controls on the physical Fire tablet here at the very top. So at the top, we've got the volume controls right here. So I can move the volume up and down. Let me see if I can get that into better focus for you. There, you can see it there. Um, so on the top, you've got volume up and down. And then in the middle, you've got the lock button. And then you've got the USB-C charging port. And then you've got the... Um, the headphone jack right here. So you can plug in headphones while you're watching movies. But I wanna show you the, the volume volume buttons that are right here on the top because that's what I'm gonna use right now. I'm gonna show you the pop-up that shows up right here on the side of the screen. So when you press a, um, when you press the volume button at the very top, you get a little pop-up that shows the level of the volume like this. So it makes it really fun to come in here and uh, see what the volume level is at. And then you can also come in here and silence your notifications just by tapping on the um, top bell there. So you bring the volume up by tapping it like this and then you can unsilence things. So now you will receive um, sound when notifications come through or you can keep them silent. So for the music here, and the audio of these movies, I'm going to silence them and push the volume all the way down there. And then, of course, you can get finer detail by hitting the volume down and pressing the settings, and it takes you to the sound settings. And we can see here our media volumes turn all the way down, the call volumes turn all the way up, the alarm volumes all the way up, notification volume is down. If we want to change the notification volume, we just press the volume up, and we can go ahead and unclick 
there for the notification sounds and now we can see the notification volume is turned up again but we're going to go ahead and press the volume down and turn down the notification volume you can turn on do not disturb a shortcut to prevent ringing and then they've got the default notification sound the default alarm sound and more so that's a quick uh, you know overview of the sound settings now we're going to use this back button at the very bottom to go back to the amazon Prime video section. So just to confirm again, we're going to mute our devices here. We're going to make sure everything is off. So no audio and no sound. And then I can come in here and check out one of um, one of these episodes and see what it's like to use the Amazon Prime video app. So on the home screen, you're presented with all your different apps here, or your all, they're not apps, they're videos, TV shows. So all the different Amazon originals and exclusives, you can check them out right here. You can continue watching your latest shows that you were watching. They've recommended things, movies we think you'll like, comedy movies, TV shows we think you'd like, new release movies. You can already, that's incredible that I can watch Fast and Furious. But oh, it looks like you have to buy it. So it's a movie. Just came out a few weeks ago and you can rent this movie for $19.99 or you can buy it for $24.99. We can hit the back button at the very bottom and go back to the previous page that we were on. So the home page has a ton of different originals, movies and things and uh, TV shows and different movies that they recommend here. You can look at the categories at the very top. We've got home originals. These are all the originals. We've got all the TV shows, we just tap on TV shows, and then we've got all the movies. So they categorize it into those three sections, and at the end, they have a kids section. Um, that's not a kids section. We can go back and tap, tap on kids. So they've got a kids section where you can um, have, you know, kid-friendly content, too, if you want your kid or um, your child to watch a different, you know, TV show or movie. Um, you can set one up for them right here on the Amazon Fire tablet. So that's the Prime Videos categories. If we go back to the home page here um, by selecting the Prime Video app again, and we're presented with a home screen, we can see, uh, let's say, let's check out Amazon Original Upload. We can resume where we were left off, where we finished, 43 minutes left to start. We can start over. We can add to the watch list. We can download season one for offline watching, which is neat if you're going on an airplane. You can shuffle the episodes or you can share. And then it has a list of the different episodes right here with their titles. So episode one, episode two, and then we can check out more details of this show. So it's genre, it's directors, who it stars, supporting actors, networks, maturity rating, and more, and customer reviews. So then we can come in here and just say resume episode one. Um, and then it will automatically switch us into our landscape mode here where we can continue watching. So Amazon Alexa has X-Ray built in. When we tap on the pause button here, we can see who's acting on the current screen. So um, that's a really cool feature of Amazon Prime Video. We can come in here and pause and see who's on the screen. We can check out their IMDB rating um, and their profile and what content they're in. But I just wanted to give you an overview of the app and what it looks like when you're watching content. You can click at the bottom here and drag to skip uh, or skim along the movie just like this and skip to a certain part. And then it skips to it right away. You can use the uh, options on the screen to play or rewind 10 seconds just like this. And it moves it back 10 seconds. Or you can press the fast forward 10 seconds button just like this and it goes 10 seconds into the future there. So multiple ways to modify and uh, rewind and scrub through. And of course, the X-ray feature updates. We can tap on an actor here and it tells us all about them based off who's on the screen that you're currently watching. So that's a really awesome Amazon Prime feature. It shows you when you press pause or you activate X-ray who is currently acting on the screen. Um, so we can come in here and hit the X button at the top to get rid of this, or we can see some other shows that this person has acted in. It shows their character name, what they're known for, and then their real name. We can check out more photos of them. Um, so really cool that we can see more content using X-Ray. We can come down here and check out another actor. Um, so Nathan Brown here and what they're known for, um, a little description, and then all the different shows that they've been in, and we can see all the different photos. So Amazon makes it really fun uh, to watch content and see you know, who's acting in their Amazon originals. 
Um, so really cool feature. So we've checked out the, the skimming and the uh, you know, x-ray features. We can come up here, we see the title, welcome to upload, and then the season and episode number. And then in the top right, we've got volume controls where we can tap on volume and we can see that we're completely muted. It, shows up very briefly it pops up for a few seconds where we can go into the settings or we can turn on notifications sounds and then another important part for accessibility is subtitles we can tap the subtitles button at the top and get all of the information for subtitles so right now they're off but we can turn them on uh, we can turn on english subtitles just like this and it shows an example this is a subtitle example we can turn on different audio tracks right now we've got english and then they show which other audio tracks they have here check out envato elements where you can get an unlimited creative subscription as low as 16 dollars 50 a month use the link in the description appfind.org envato and you can subscribe today and get this incredible deal so many assets over 14 million assets with unlimited downloads and a commercial license to use that content. It's really cool how they have a ton of creative options here. You can check it out using the link in the description, appfind.org slash envato and subscribe today. So we can close it out here. We can hit play. And then uh, at the very bottom now, um, we'll have subtitles because we just turned on subtitles. So come on, well, I would be happy. So really cool that subtitles pop open just like that. And it's really easy to you know, be accessible inside the Amazon Prime video app. So we can hit the little three dots here and we can zoom, make it a little bit bigger, or we can go to next up, whatever's in our next, um, you know, up next watch list. And it plays that immediately. Um, and then we can hit the three dots and say watch from the beginning or exit playing. So very cool that we can come in here and check out all of this content right here on Amazon Prime Video. Um, and they make it really easy. We can turn this back into portrait mode and check out what other options we have. So next up, place the next episode in the episode list that you have here. So really cool feature and really fun that you can come in here and check out all the different content on Amazon Prime Video. They've got different menu options at the very bottom where you can check out the store and see what options of things that you can buy. So different movies or TV shows that you can rent or buy. We can come in here, John Wick is available for purchase. You can buy the movie for $19.99. And you can see what else customers watch, the cast and crew, and more information. So they do have a full-fledged store in here. You can come in here, download and purchase Kingsman, The Golden Circle, rent the movie for $3.79 or buy it for $4.99. And of course, they've got really related content. You can check out more details of the movie. They've got channels, which is an interesting way to check out content. Uh, so this is kind of a different way of categorizing things, comedy movies, action and adventure movies, free movies and TV shows. Um, that's really fun. I can come in here and see what's for free and check that out. Um, so leverage sounds cool. I can tap on leverage and then I can watch episode one. And what's interesting about this is it says it's free with ads. So I press play and it instantly starts playing it. Uh, but of course I'm going to have to watch ads during the process of getting it for free. So really cool that I can come in here and watch content just like that. We can hit the three dots to exit three dots and then hit exit playing and it takes us back to our screen here that we were previously on. Um, so we can hit the back button to see what other content is under channels, all the different ch channels they have here. So Prime Video Channels, Freebie, um, and other different apps that support um, this the, the channel section. So it looks like Freebie is the main channel here. They've got the Hallmark Channel, Passion Flicks, and BB Select. And you can see if I zoom in closer to you, the name of the channel is right here in tiny text. Um, so it's right there. And then I can scroll up and you can see the tiny text. The name of the channel is right there. Hallmark channel, the freebie channel. It's all the different channels of networks that currently are offering free content. Um, so really fun to check out that in the channel section. So they've got stars, stars you have to pay for, AMC plus you have to pay for, max you have to pay for. So depending on the channel name, you may have to pay or it may be free. Um, so really fun way to come in here and check out content just like this. Um, you can download Max, get a seven day free trial to get started, or you can buy this episode for $2.99 or uh, buy season two for $22.99. So 
really fun way to come in here and check out all of your different content on different channels. One of my favorite features though is the find feature. We can come over here and find different content. Um, so they have multiple categories to browse by. We can come in here and say include it with Prime, Amazon Originals, movies, TV shows, kids, sports. They've got genres, genres um, right here, drama, action and adventure, comedy, horror, documentary, and then categories, recently added TV, find videos to download award winners, 4K Ultra HD, and audio descriptions. So I can come in here, I'm a big sports fan, I can just see browse by sports, tap on sports, and it shows me all of the sports on Prime Video, all of the sports live and upcoming, full replays and highlights. Thursday night football, sports talk, live and upcoming events, just like this, I can come in here and start watching content. NBA TV, watch with the subscription. So very fun, you know, that I can categorize things right here. I can even see some top sports series. I can see this new movie Air came out. I can tap on it and it's included with Prime and I can start watching it immediately um, right from this app because I categorized it by sports and it showed me what was watching, what I, what I should watch in that category. So that's a really cool way to check out different content on the Amazon Prime Video app and a fun way to come in here and look at all of your uh, different shows that you can watch. So if you download shows to your local hard drive here or flash storage on the Amazon Prime tablet, they will show up here in the download section. That way you can watch them on the plane or when you don't have Wi-Fi. You can go to your watch list and see what's in your watch list and how to you know, watch shows based off what you've added to your watch list. And you can see I added air to my watch list, Jack Ryan, Citadel. I can come in here and just watch those shows immediately because they've been added to my watch list. And then I can check out all the purchases that I've made on my Amazon account and tap on purchases and it shows up. Um, so it loads it, it's taking a little bit to load here, um, but it processes everything here and we can see what kind of content that I previously purchased, if you wanna watch that content or if you want to, uh, oh, problem occurred. So this did not work out pro properly, um, but we can try it one more time and see if it works rent or buy movies. So I've not made any purchases, so nothing is showing up. Watch purchases and rentals on any of your devices. So if I do make any purchases, that will immediately show up right here in the purchase section under my stuff at the very bottom. So very cool way to come in here and check out that kind of content. So that was an overview of Prime Video on the Amazon Fire tablet. Next up on the Fire tablet is Amazon Kids, which you can check out. It is a paid subscription, but you can use the app without paying and set up child or kid profiles so they can only watch content that you select. So when you're automatically opening Amazon Kids, it pops up with a option to subscribe and you pay a monthly fee and you get access to a ton of different um, content, you know, shows that are designed for kids. You can opt out of that. I've opted out of that and now it's just asking me to set up my kid profiles. So I've got three kid profiles set up right here. I can add an additional one if I need to, or I can um, just use the ones that are listed on the screen. So we'll go ahead and just use the, the ones that are listed onto the screen. If you do add a new profile, this is what it looks like. You'll need to add their date of birth, their first name, and then select an avatar. And they have awesome avatars here that you can select, really cute ones um, for your kid that they can you know, represent some of their favorite items. So. You can add a new profile if you want to, or if you already have one set up for your kid, then you're fine to go and you can hit continue at the very bottom here. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And now it says your permission will apply to, to the following profiles. Um, so all these profiles right here for experiences like Echo Dot Kids, we need permission to collect personal information, including voice recordings. Your permission will apply to Amazon's collection of personal information in connection with all Alexa device skills and other Amazon Kids services. Learn more about changing permissions by visiting Alexa and Alexa device FAQs. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And then it asks us to enter our password. After we've logged in with our password, it asks us to verify our credit card on file, not to be charged, but just to make sure that we are the adult on the account and that your kid's not signing up for Amazon Kids themselves. So then you've got parental consent where you can review this information. So we'll go ahead and um, you can also decline here. You can say no thanks. So we'll go ahead and agree. And now we can go through the settings. So for Jess, the Fire Tablet theme, we can select what theme they have. We can say an older kid theme or a younger kid theme. 
The younger kid theme is designed with non-readers in mind, uses big images and to encourage natural exploration through characters and content they love. The older kid theme is designed for kids who read and are familiar with tablets, phones, and recommended for kids six and up. So we can take a look at that content right here at the very bottom, fire tablet theme. They can have a younger theme or an older kid theme. So depending on how old your kid is, it will recommend which one is for them because you've entered their birth date. And then they've got options right here for the web browser. You can have filtered web websites and videos and then hand selected web browsers or you can just disable the web browser at all. Highly recommend just disabling it. And then accounts or you've got announcements. You can enable announcements. Your kid can use their tablet in a one way intercom and broadcast their voice over any Alexa devices in your house. So that's cool. We can enable that. They've got calling so they can call you and um, other family members. So the, this lets kids call parent approved friends and family Alexa enabled devices or Alexa apps. So this is this experience uses services provided by Alexa by enabling you to agree to the term Alexa terms of use. So we can enable that. They've got additional kids content. Allow your kids to discover select selection of free and paid content, including apps, books, and games intended for kids, but not included in the Amazon Kids Plus subscription. You'll get notified and need to approve anytime your child makes a download request. So that's cool. They can download additional kids content. And then in-app purchases requests. We can turn this on and they can request to purchase something for us. So it enables kids to request permission for in-app purchases. So we'll go ahead and continue with the settings. We can just review the different settings and you can change them anytime at parents.amazon.com. So we'll go ahead and hit the continue button at the very bottom. And then expanded selection, allow your kids to discover and request more apps and games like Minecraft, Roblox, Netflix, which may not be designed exclusively for kids. Mature and adult apps are not shown to kids. So we can enable that or disable that um, and then hit continue at the very bottom. So just as parent controls are all set up, one more step closer to the finish line. And now it says, how would you like to set up Adam's settings? So we can select Adam settings or we can apply the same settings that we made for Jess. This makes it really easy. We don't have to go through that same process all over again. We'll just say same settings. And then we can hit continue and then apply the same settings for child three and child three is all set up. So that made it really easy to set up the rest of the kids. Just set up one person and copied all the different settings for all of them. And now we hit continue to get access to Amazon Kids here. So they've got some popular apps. Here are some popular apps outside of Amazon Kids Plus subscription that other parents have let their kids explore on their Fire tablet. And we can come here and see. Um, I can go ahead and tap which child can get access to which app just like this. And it makes it really fun you know they put a little check mark next to their username so just like this i can say which kid gets access to which kind of app and then we can hit continue so now you're done setting up parent controls just a few more steps as your kids grow they'll automatically be able to view new experiences but may require your permission to use them you can change these settings anytime on the parent dashboard so we set up all three of the kids and we can hit the continue bottom at the, the continue button at the very bottom and now it says set up notifications let us know how you would like to receive notifications for amazon kids features then we can hit continue and now it says congrats you successfully set up this device for your kids how was your experience setting up this device i'll go ahead and give it a four it was very easy um, the time it took the depth of information provided about the settings i'll go ahead and select my confidence and amazon's recommended settings so we can go ahead and hit continue and get access to Amazon Kids just like this. So video downloads pop up right here. You can now download videos to your child's profile for when they're offline. All right. And now manage Amazon Kids settings remotely at parents.amazon.com. And then I can go to parents dashboard. So that's what it looks like here to get access to the, to the kids dashboard on parents.amazon.com. We're going to hit the back button and go back to Amazon Kids and log into Jess and see what it's like. So now when Jess accesses content, they've got games here, they've got books, they've got Audible, they've got videos and different games and apps. Um, so we can say Jess can get access to Crossy Roads and hit done. So it makes it really easy to come in here and 
and use Amazon to modify uh, what access that your kids have. So by selecting this profile and launching Amazon Kids, the previous profile will be automatically visible on the lock screen regardless. So we can go ahead and hit cancel here. Let's open up Jess and hit continue. So now it switches over to Jess. Switching to Jess. And now it's opened Amazon Kids for Jess. Now, anytime I want Jess to use this, they can use you know, only the approved apps and only the approved content that I've used, that I've set up on their account. So can they access the web browser? I don't think they can because I disabled it. Um, yeah, you can't do this yet. <laughs> That's so cool. Ask a grown up to turn this on. So even though the web browser is there, I disabled the web browser and the settings and the parental controls so they can access it. Check out today's sponsor, Acorns, which lets you invest your spare change easily. Automatically invest spare change from everyday purchases into a diversified portfolio. You can set roundups, weekly, monthly, or daily contributions, or even one-time deposits. Acorns makes it really simple to start investing and save money easily. Check out Acorns using the link in the description, appfind.org slash acorns to get started today. And you can, in under three minutes, get started with saving for retirement or spending some money smarter. So check out Acorns today to get started with investing and they make it really simple and have great design to get started with all of your money. So check out the link in the description at find.org slash acorns and get started with investing today. But they can come in here and see, you know, let's go over to the For You. They can access Disney Plus and Netflix because I did approve them to log into those things. So really cool way to come in here and make sure your kids stay safe and that they're watching content that you approve and they only can use, you know, apps that, that are set up in the parental control settings here. So after your kid is finished and you're ready to switch back to your adult account on the Amazon Fire tablet, you can do that by accessing the quick settings control panel. By swiping down from the very top and you'll do one more swipe down here and you get access to this full menu and you can press the exit profile button right here. And it brings you to the control back to the home screen where you can switch your profiles here. So it shows whose uh, profile is currently on right now. It's on Jess. We can tap on me and then it says switching to Justin. So just like that, I'm able to switch back. It's asking for my passcode. So I'll have to enter my passcode in order to exit out. But once I've entered the passcode successfully, it brings me back to my page, my adult um, section without any parental controls on here. So that section, these profiles are only for adults. And then of course you have your child profiles or your kid profiles that only have you know kids content. So that's a way, that's how you get access back to your main account on your Amazon Fire tablet. Um, and that's Amazon Kids. Another cool thing is you can always swipe down on your account to access additional settings right here. So the quick settings menu, it shows you the name of your tablet. Um, you can see recent notifications. So we can see Amazon Photos. You can access photos from your phone, tablet, or computer with Amazon Photos. You see system updates have been successfully updated. You can see all the app store things that you downloaded. We downloaded some apps earlier. And then um, you can come down here and see, you can manage your notifications at the very bottom. You can clear all of your notifications. Or you can swipe down some more and see all of the various different um, options you have. So you can turn off Wi-Fi, you can turn on Bluetooth, you can turn on airplane mode if you're going on a plane or want to disconnect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The blue shade for better um, viewing experiences when you're reading. Alexa hands-free is on and auto rotate. Do not disturb, low power mode and storage. So they've got tons of different options here. And that's the quick settings menu. You, you can of course change your brightness level right here too. So we'll keep our brightness up like that. So you can swipe down from that anywhere you're at. If we go into our app drawer and switch to a different app, we can go back to the Amazon Kids settings app and swipe down from it and have access to all of our different quick settings just like this. Next up, I wanna show you Alexa. All you have to do is say, Alexa, what's the weather? degrees and a low of 55 degrees. 
Alexa, what spy TV show sh should I watch? Here are some results. So just like that, Alexa is able to help you out with any task that you ask. And it's really cool that you can come in here and ask it. Alexa, what are the NBA final scores? In the NBA, this past Wednesday, the Nuggets beat the Heat 109 to 94. The Nuggets are leading the series 2 to 1. In the NBA, last Sunday, June 4th, the Heat beat the Nuggets 111 to 108. The series is tied at one apiece. In the NBA, last Thursday, June 1st, the Nuggets beat the Heat 104 to 93. The Nuggets are leading the series 1 to 0. In the NBA, last Monday, May 29th, the Heat beat the Celtics 103 to 84. The Heat won the series 4 to 3. So just like this, you can come in here and use Alexa anytime. You can even have it setting down on on the t on the table and it can be locked. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow, there will be lots of clouds with a high of 65 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 54 degrees. So no matter where you are, you can use Alexa and just say the command and it automatically pops open and starts listening to you. So you just saw the example of with Alexa activating when she was on the table and the device was locked. So a very fun way to interact with um, Alexa. You can come in here and just say the magic word and she starts listening and is able to help you out with recommendations of content to watch, what the weather is, sports scores. Alexa, what else can you do? I'm glad you asked. I can help with morning activities, relaxation, education, entertainment, and more. Which would you like to explore? Education. Sure, education. I can help with education phrases, math skills, trivia skills, science skills, and more. Which would you like to explore? So I can come in here and tap on the tablet. You can say things like, Alexa, how many glasses of water should I be drinking? Or, what languages can you translate? Alexa, how do you say hello in Spanish? Hello, in Spanish is, hola. Alexa, how do you say hello in Chinese? Hello, in Chinese is, ni hao. So really cool that you can come in here and use Alexa for education or morning activities or almost anything that you need help with. You can come in here and ask Alexa. One of my favorite things to use Alexa with is to have it open apps. So I can say, Alexa, open Silk Browser. Here's Silk Browser. And just like this, the browser is opened up and it all happened just from my voice. So really neat that I can, you know, ask it to open different apps. I can ask it to help me out with information like the weather. I can ask it for sports scores. I can ask it for entertainment or um, ask it for education or morning routines. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. So you can come in here and use Alexa to help you out with almost every part of your life. And it's really handy that, you know, this tablet can be sitting on the table and you can just scream across the room and say that magic word and then give it any command and it will start processing it and help you out with that information. So really cool that Alexa is built into this tablet. Um, very helpful to help you out with everyday tasks. And I think you'll love it just as much as I do because it's one of my favorite features built into this tablet. Now that we've added some content to this Fire tablet, I want to review the library and for you sections and also the very tip top right here where it says continue and discover. So of course it allows you to discover more information, more apps, more books as you slide across this top pane here. But one of my favorite parts is it remembers what you were recently using. So it shows the latest app that you had open, Silk Browser and Disney Plus. So you can continue using them right off the bat without having to scroll and through your apps to find them. So that's one cool feature on the home screen. But of course, if we swipe over to library, we can see more options here where it shows all of our Kindle books, where it shows all of our different apps and it categorizes them nicely right here between Kindle apps, 
games in Silk Browser, Prime Video, and Audible. So I can come here, see what apps I've recently opened, which apps I've recently installed right on my Fire tablet. They pop up and I can swipe between them. I've got games. I can see which games I've played, which games I want to open up that are uh, right here on my Fire tablet. And then I've got Silk Browser websites that I've previously looked at right from my history that I can open up immediately. And then of course, Prime Video shows that I've watched and I can watch those immediately just by tapping on them. So it makes it really fun to come in here and check out the latest content. And then I can see Audible. But one of my favorite features about this library section is it's all um, modular. You can change it up. If you have any downloaded content, you can tap the downloaded section. And if it's right here on the device, you can see it immediately. But what I want to talk about is the customize feature where all of this is modular. If you scroll to the very bottom is the customize feature right here. And I can tap on that customize button right here at the very bottom right there. And then it allows me to customize your library. So I can press and drag to move an item and select the box to hide it or show it. So since I don't really use Audible or listen to audiobooks, I can just go ahead and uncheck this. And now it will no longer show up under my library. I can go ahead and move Prime Video to the top since I love watching my Prime Originals and Amazon Original content. So as soon as I swipe over, that's what I see first. And I can come in here, let's say I want my web history and results second. And then I've got my apps third. I can just drag and hold these dots over here to rearrange which categories I see on my Amazon Prime tablet when I swipe over to the library section. And then I can come here and scroll down and uncheck games and we'll keep Kindle apps, self browser and prime video. And just like that, I have easily modified the library section and I can hit the done button at the very bottom right here. I just press that. And now I have my brand new library section that has been remodified under the customizations that I've created. So you'll see here, Prime Video is now at the very top. I've got Silk Browser results right here second, Apps third, Kindle, and then I've disabled Games and I disabled Audible. So they're no longer there under the library. So really cool way to come in here and make this library section your very own and to see what you like to see first. And you can come in here and do that on your own tablet. If we tap the For You section, which is what we get recommendations, we can see very similar content here. We see the weather, we can allow location access so it can show our, our weather. And then we've got recent apps, we can continue watching shows, we can get a, a recommendation for the voice assistant, we've got sponsored apps, trending new games, movies, TV shows, arcade games for you, top picks from Amazon.com, reading included in your Prime, movies included with your Prime, top picks for you, top subscription apps for you, free movies on freebie, top free apps, tons of different categories here that we can come out and check out content that they recommend for you. So this may not be content that you have installed on your tablet, but it's content that you can check out on your tablet. So top subscription apps, maybe you should check out Stars or Showtime or BET and come in here, you know, it's just recommending, hey, this may be really neat for you. Some of the content since Prime is is currently installed and we have a subscription to it, we may be able to launch that content for free, but it recommends all types of content. So the For You section is really need to come in here and to see what's new and to check out content that may be perfect for you, that may not be in your library, but may be a good fit for you to add to your library. So that's an overview here, and this has been a complete beginner's guide to the Amazon Fire tablet. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Let us know what your favorite Amazon Fire tablet feature is. Comment below and let us know what your favorite feature is. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these videos for you and can't wait to make the next one. So thanks for watching this complete beginner's guide for the Amazon Fire tablet, where we've reviewed things like the new home screen, the Amazon shopping app, the Silk browser, the Prime video app, Amazon kids, the library and for you section for your Amazon tablet. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.